Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I'm testing out a new lip product from Urban Decay. This is the Vice Lip Bond. It is a glossy liquid lipstick and the more I read about this product, the more intrigued slash concerned I become. This is currently available. It's priced at 25 US dollars a piece. Pretty pricey for a single lipstick. It comes in 12 different shades. This is vegan and cruelty free. So this is totally safe for my vegan friends. And it has a lot of claims. It says it's a long lasting liquid lipstick that provides instant shine and has highly pigmented color that stays on when everything else comes off. Must shake to activate. Shake, set, and bond. One swipe color with comfort that won't quit. Has a shiny glossy finish, no flaking, smudge proof, transfer proof, food and water resistant. It also says that it won't crack or feather. So those are some pretty bold claims for a liquid lipstick. Typically, glossy, shiny things tend to transfer quite a bit. Now, first of all, the shake to activate thing, I'm intrigued, but I'm also confused by that. I'm Obviously, I'm going to do it. This also has a warning that says that it's flammable until dry. Use caution. Do not use near fire, flame, or heat. I haven't heard that one before. So I don't know what the heck to make of this. I'm also kind of concerned if it's completely transfer proof. Will I be able to actually take it off? So we're gonna find out, cause I'm gonna try it and we're gonna just see what happens. Before I apply it, I wanna give you a close up look at the packaging here. It seems like all the colors have color coded caps to match the color of the product inside. And it is very shiny and reflective. It has this sort of wavy pattern on the actual lipstick itself. This looks metallic, but it's plastic. There is a little label that does remind you to shake this product before you apply it. I can hear it kind of moving around inside. I am so intrigued by this. I haven't even opened this up yet, so let's see what the applicator looks like. We have a very standard looking skinny slanted doe foot applicator. Nothing too crazy with the applicator. I'm gonna smell it. It doesn't smell too strong. It definitely has a chemically kind of painty smell, but it doesn't smell too strong. Let's apply it and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna shake it. It says to shake it for five seconds. Okay, let's try it out. This is the shade Safe Word, by the way. As I'm editing, I realize that I never actually told you what shade I'm using. All I can think about is how my lips are flammable right now. I was trying to be so careful and precise as to not stain my skin because I was afraid that this lip product would never actually come off. Okay, right off the bat, I was expecting a very high shine, very glossy finish, and I don't feel like that's what I'm getting. This definitely feels like a more of a satiny finish. We're not getting the shine, the gloss. Yeah, this says shiny, glossy finish. Does this seem shiny and glossy to you? I mean, it's not a flat matte, but it's definitely more of a satin. I am getting Revlon Satin Ink vibes right now. This texture really reminds me of the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Creams. If you've ever tried those, that's what this feels like. With that being said, it looks really nice. It feels fine. It doesn't really feel like much on my lips. I can mostly just tell that it's there because the product does kind of want to stick to itself a little bit. Maybe once it completely dries down here in a minute or two. It won't do that anymore. It definitely feels comfortable and lightweight, but I'm not getting the shine I expected. Let's put it that way. I want to give it a fair chance, so let's let this completely dry before I try to test anything. I don't know how long it's supposed to take to dry. It didn't tell me that. Okay, I can tell that it's starting to be dried down now because it does feel a little bit a little bit tighter on my lips. It's still pretty comfortable, but I can definitely tell that it's bonding. <laughs> it is lip bonding, I can tell. Let's see if um, we get any transfer now. It's only been like two minutes since I put it on, but 
since I can feel that change in the sort of tightness on my lips, let's see if we're transfer proof yet. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do a little kiss test just on the back of my hand here. And as you can see, there's nothing, I don't have anything on my hand, so hopefully it'll stay that way. All right, I'm gonna really smush them on there. I'm gonna lay a good one on myself. Okay, so mm, definitely not transfer proof. Maybe I just didn't wait long enough. That could be my bad. I mean, my lips still look good though. Yeah, they still look good. I'm gonna go about my day. I'm gonna go actually eat and drink something. I'll give this a couple more minutes while I make myself some lunch to completely finish setting down. And then we'll see if this holds up to a meal. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. I'm not gonna eat like an oily salad dressing or anything. I'm gonna give this a fair shot. I'm gonna make like a sandwich or something just pretty middle of the road. And uh, we'll see, see how this lip color holds up. See if it lives up to the hype. And yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. See you, bye. See ya. Okay, I am back after having eaten lunch. And just for the sake of, you know, full disclosure of testing this, I had a peanut butter sandwich, an avocado, and some really, really good potato chips. I'll put a picture right here because I do recommend that you try them if you like spicy. It's the Lay's Kettle Cooked Jalapeno Chips. They are super good. They do have quite a little kick to them, so if you don't like spicy food, you won't like them. They're not like atomic, melt your face off spicy. They are pleasantly spicy, but they have quite a little kick to them. So not really relevant to the wear test, but you know, good chips. Who doesn't like a recommendation? I wanna be a snack influencer now. So that's what I ate. Like I said, I wasn't gonna do anything crazy. I wasn't gonna do anything super oily to really interfere with the lipstick. And I will say from far away, they still look good. I didn't notice my sandwich bread having lipstick on it or anything like that. I did have some like crumbs kind of get stuck to my lips cause they do just remain a little bit sticky. I guess since it's not really a matte formula, although it has completely lost any shine to speak of that it may have had a couple hours ago when I first put it on, where it looked kind of like a shiny satiny finish, it now looks like a satiny matte finish. But it still feels a little bit sticky. Now I want to show you a close up because like I said, from afar it looks good. Close up is kind of a different story. I mean, I don't think anybody really looks at my lips as closely as I look at them, but we're reviewing, so I gotta give you the whole scoop. And the whole scoop is that these lips, they don't look great up close, especially the bottom lip. I think that this overall look on the lips translated decently well to video. I think you can just tell it's really broken apart. It's very uneven, especially around the corners of my bottom lip. It just looks kind of crusty. I know that's a really gross word to describe a lipstick, but it's just so patchy. It's really building up in my little lip lines, and overall it just does not look good at all. Hopefully you can see on camera what I see in person because it's really, really breaking up. It's really the entire application seems to be breaking up, but the bottom lip's definitely a lot worse. There's a definitive line where it's just completely worn off, and then otherwise it's just really, really breaking up. It just looks really uneven and patchy. Definitely kind of getting stuck in my little cracks and wrinkles that naturally occur on my lips. And it just doesn't look amazing. Like I said, from far away, it looks fine. I think from this distance from the camera, it looks fine. But I can tell just looking at myself in the mirror here on my little vanity table that I film on that it's breaking apart and just, it doesn't look great. I know that I don't have to do a full day wear test. I was gonna keep wearing this and eat another meal if it lasted through lunch. But it's already been only a couple of hours, what, two, three hours since I put this on. So it already has broken up so much that I feel like I need to take it off and reapply. So I have to say this whole 16 hours of wear time thing, I will dispute that claim. Personally, it did not last that long for me. Now, may there still be some of these pigments left on my lips after 16 hours? 
certainly could be, but it's not looking fresh and shiny and glossy. It doesn't even look like a full coverage lipstick at this point. It's only been a couple hours. Okay, I did put another layer on top to see if this could be layered instead of removing everything to reapply. And it seems fine to layer up. I don't think you could do this very many times before you would get like chunk city. Nobody wants that. Cause I think you can already kind of tell it's gonna get thick. But it looks okay. If you needed to touch it up, you could touch it up. Now, the next thing I want to know is how easy is this to remove? Because when I hear about a lip product that lasts forever, I'm scared that it's never going to come off. Um, and they didn't say anything about removing it. There's nothing on the Sephora site. There's nothing on the packaging. So I'm just going to try a regular makeup wipe and see... If it comes off, I think it will because it just wore off from regular wear. So I feel like it's probably going to come off. Yeah, just a makeup wipe. Just wiped it right off. So no worries about that. At least it's not like a, what is that stuff called? Lip sense where like you need a remover or some BS to take it off. At least it's not like that. I have to say, unfortunately, I can't really give this product a good review. It didn't live up to most of its claims. I do think it's just too expensive for what it is, especially when I have the option of, for example, a Revlon Satin Ink, which I love that product. It's literally half the price of this product and it lasts longer and looks better for longer and there's probably a better shade range and it's probably more accessible because you can buy it at the drugstore. So I gotta say this is a miss for me personally. Maybe it works better for other people. Maybe this is the right product for somebody else. It's not for me personally, but it may work better for somebody else. I always encourage, especially for a more pricey product, that you watch a lot of different reviews from a lot of different people because we all have different preferences. We have different skin types. I have very dry lips. And if you don't have the same skin type as me, then this may perform differently for you as well. Just my two cents, this is not all it's cracked up to be and definitely not worth 25 of my hard earned dollars. But that's just one girl's opinion. So now's the time when I wanna hear what you think about this product. Have you tried it? Is it on your wish list? Are you intrigued by the shaking and the flammable nature of it? <laughs> I don't want to give them a hard time. You know, I like Urban Decay, but this particular product just didn't work for me. But I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I mean, ma'am, can you stop? Maggie, cut it out. Mm-mm. Skip the lipstick and buy jalapeno chips. That is the overall message of this video review today. All right, well, now we know. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go do some skincare because I feel like I'm about to get a breakout right here. I can see this little bump and it's gonna turn into a breakout. So I'm gonna go do some skincare and take care of that so that it doesn't turn into, hopefully it doesn't turn into a breakout. And if it does, then it does because that's how skin is sometimes. And you know what? You also have normal human skin. If your skin isn't perfect, that's normal when you see people with perfect skin online and that's not real. That's photoshopped, filtered, potentially both. It's normal to have bumps, spots, wrinkles, crinkles, breakouts, whatever, whatever you have, hyperpigmentation, melasma, hair, it's all normal. You are perfectly fine the way you are. And if you want to change that stuff, that's fine too. If you want to put makeup on it, if you want to, whatever you want to do is fine. But I just want you to know, this is your reminder, that your skin moving and changing and I, I, it's fine. It's normal. It's totally normal. You're normal. Your skin is normal. You are beautiful. And I love every single little thing about your face. And I hope that you have a great day. And I hope that you do something to take care of yourself and appreciate yourself today because you deserve it. Okay, I love you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.